Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. I am the Loquacious One, the one hit quitter of affordable hauls. I am coming at you today with a haul. Some of these things I've gotten before, but it's more of uh, an informational haul on um, properly sanitizing your hands, things that you can get that are affordable. Um, and I just want to share with you. Um, and I'm going to put this disclaimer out there. I am not a medical expert by any means. I suggest that you go to CDC or the World Health Organization and uh, look up how to properly wash your hands. But we all know that you should wash for 20 seconds or more or the time this it takes to sing happy birthday two times. You're going to wash the front, which is the palms. You're going to wash the back. Between the webs of your fingers up to the wrist. And when I do a thorough wash, I even individually twist each finger and thumb to clean. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the things I got. These are from the Dollar Tree mostly. Or the Dollar General. I'll let you know which is which in case you're interested. Pretty much they have these things in stock. They were depleted at first, but now they are slowly but surely stocking the shelves again. So you might want to go out because people just, they're just naturally going to hoard and buy up everything. I am the loquacious one, as I said, the one hit a quitter. I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as thumbs up this video if you enjoyed the contents and share with someone who would be interested. And if you have a link or a channel or something that I can benefit from, please, by all means, send that over to me. Excuse me for shaking. Okay, the first thing you want to do is wash your hands. doesn't matter if you have hot water or cold water. Well, this, from what I researched, said it doesn't really matter. Long as you are properly washing your hands. In order for hot water to sanitize, it would have to be boiling or scalding. So long as it is, um, long as you wash your hands with a good soapy lather, it does not matter the temperature of the water. They're more concerned that you wash your hands properly than the temperature of the water. It does not have to be an antibacterial soap. It can just be plain soap. The thing is you want to um, uh, get a good lather up and you want to rub the hands in order to get the lipid fat coating that's around the virus off and properly rinse it off okay so we're gonna i'm gonna show you real quick some of the things that i found at uh dollar tree that i use to wash my hands now these are antibacterial soaps it is not all that i use but i just bought them because i need a soap and why not okay these are, are dial this first one is dial complete two-in-one moisturizing and antibacterial Beauty Bar is mint and shea butter. That's two 3.2 ounce bars. The next I got uh, Dial White. Okay, it's antibacterial. They also have Dial Spring Water. Again, two bars, antibacterial. And they had, I'm going over here real quick, the Dial Gold antibacterial. And they also had, oh, let me move this out the way. It is the Dow Lavender and Twilight Jasmine. And it is antibacterial. So all the Dow products were antibacterial. They also had uh, Icy Aloe, but that was not in stock when I purchased mine. Okay. And one of my favorites is Lever 2000 Original. Okay, this doesn't say antibacterial, but it's a good deodorant soap, I guess. So this is what I also wash my hands with. I prefer bar soap for thorough cleansing. Okay. Now, I also recommend that you get a nail brush. And Dollar Tree have the Sassy and Sheet nail brush. It was two. It's a smaller one. As well as this wider one. And that's a dollar. I thought that was a good deal. If they're out, you don't find it. Uh, Dollar General has gem 
it's only one for a dollar but again you need a nail brush to get up on those nails and scrub those cuticles because you need to thoroughly clean your hands at least one day just get up on those nails and those cuticles next um i found liquid soap so we're going there this is soft soap antibacterial hand soap with moisturizer and it is 11.25 fluid ounces now they also have this with a pump this is the refill but this is a better deal because if you had got it in the pump it would have been only 5.5 fluid ounces and this is the soft soap antibacterial hand soap with moisturizer and it's in fresh citrus while this one is in crisp clean okay so you're like getting double the product with the refill as opposed to the fresh citrus but they didn't have the refill for the fresh citrus at Dollar Tree when I went okay another thing that you can use I'm going to skip over here is dial I mean Don antibacterial hand soap it's in apple blossom and it's seven fluid ounces but notice it also says dishwashing liquid so folks I believe that it's marketing. Soap is soap, okay? And the difference between dishwashing liquid and hand soap probably is very little. It's just the marketing. Such as this Palmolive, Ultra Palmolive Antibacteria. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And it's a dish liquid, but I use it also as a hand soap. Okay. Alrighty. And next, I'm going to take you into um, how I sanitize when I don't have access to um, soap and water at, or a sink. Okay. And that would be, if I can show it real quick. I got these microfiber washcloths. It's four for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Okay. And what I do with these is I wet it, use some of the hand soap, put it hand soap on it, and I put it in one of the glad sandwich bags. And Dollar Tree has um the sandwich bags okay and they are a dollar okay also what i do is i will use the i don't have them really quick but they're like let me see if i can see if i have them really quick hold on okay here they are all right okay excuse me they have these reusable wipes, okay? And you find these where you find a kitchen um, cleaning utensils or whatever. They're 11.8 by 19.7 inches. I simply cut them up in squares and I put them, wet them, put soap on them, and put them in the Ziploc bag. These are gallon-sized bags. And that's what I do for cleansing my hands when you don't have access to a sink and water so I simply get one of the cloths out of the bag rub my hands with it for at least 20 seconds like a normal soap lathering then I keep a bottle of water for that purpose and just rinse my hands off okay and simply dry them because using hand sanitizer hand sanitizer during the day it gets to be sticky doesn't feel clean and it isn't as good as soap and water so that's what I have to do to kind of counteract that and I also got from Dollar Tree this liquid skin. It says the better bandage for minor cuts, cracks, and abrasions. So it seals and protects. It's 100% waterproof. So just for the extra oomph, because you just never know, especially if you're touching surfaces or whatever, I want to make sure if I get a cut or scrape, it is sealed. So this is something good to have. Okay. And uh, what else do I want to show you? Okay, well, I guess I will show you my hand sanitizer it is very hard folks to get hand sanitizing gel next to impossible 
And when I do find it, they don't have the larger sizes that they did prior to the COVID-19. But I will show you the meager um, stash that I was able to acquire. Um, how I've been sufficing is that I went around my house, checked my luggages and my makeup bags and purses. And wherever I found, generally I had Bath and Body Works or Dollar Tree, the little ones that they have with little cute holders that you put on your bag. I gathered all those up and I basically used all of those. And I've been just merely acquiring them. So, yeah, it's been a struggle. The struggle's real. Then I had to resort to making it. So let me get my little stash and show it. Okay, folks, this is my instant or hand sanitizing uh, stash. Um, it's meager because, like I said, everything is sold out. I just can't. It's hard to find, even if you go to larger stores, because they just swipe the shelves, and I don't have time to go in and out other stores all the time. So let me show you what I was able to find. Uh, most of these places, and I got this at the Dollar Tree and Dollar General, they had a limit. I found this one that attaches to your bag, and they had them in several colors and scents, but I got the pomegranate and vanilla scent antibacteria hand gel. It's a hand sanitizer. It's three ounces. This was a dollar. They had a limit of one, but most places had a limit of four. But unfortunately, mine, because I guess they were selling out, had one. I also found this at another Dollar Tree. It was a Degasa. And I asked, did they have any? And they opened a the drawer and they had a few of these and it was a limit of one. They had two left and this was a limit of one. So it's the Gasa hand sanitizer kills 99% of germs. It's the lemon lime scent and it's four ounces. Okay, so that would be the larger of what I was able to attain at Dollar Tree. I found the Germex, which I like. And this used to be in a bigger bottle. Okay, but this is a moisturizing fresh citrus hand sanitizer. Kills 99.99% .99 of germs. Kills germs within 15 seconds and it's two ounces. And they didn't have a limit on this at the store I went, but they only had two left. So I, I got the last two. Um, Next, they had Assure Antibacteria Travel Wipes with vitamin E and aloe. This is for hands and face. It's two travel packs with 15 counts in each pack. So it's convenient to throw in your purse. And what I use it for is if I felt I touched my face or sometime during the day when I just want to make sure I wipe my face down with one of these cloths. They also have it in the travel packs. It is one pack and it's a 40 count. And it says, of course, it's alcohol and paraben free. So this is the larger size. And they had a limit of three, so I got three. Okay, now I got the Huggy Simply Clean Fragrance Free Triple Clean Layers. These are baby wipes in a baby section generally. They're perfect for your hands, face, and bottom. Um, this does not have any antibacteria or disinfecting properties whatsoever. I simply use it just to refresh myself. You know, again, I might want to wipe my face, wipe my neck or something. You want, because you're just so in a sterile environment and you just feel, ugh. And so I use that for this. And I also got this from um, Family Dollar. It is Nux Sand Instant, and I had to ask for this, and they had it behind the counter. It was the last one, but it's the largest one I was able to get thus far. It is eight ounces, and it says Nux Sand Instant antibacteria hand sanitizer kills germs without water kills 99 percent 99.99 percent of germs with refreshing aloe with moisturizer okay and that was at family dollar okay and um the next section i'm going to show you and i want to just also say you need to keep um tissues in your little pack because I keep this in my little pack uh, my little crossbody so I'll always have something just in case where I put my little stuff to you know just so I can feel protected or whatever but Dollar Tree has these little travel packs of tissue this is puff plus lotion is two two in a pack they also have oh sorry about that they all 
I'm just so clumsy. It won't stay. They have this Kleenex on the go ultra and it's three in the pack. They also have their own brand and these were cute. This is eight individual packs of pocket tissues. So they have a wide variety, including the boutique and vanity boxes also. So you want to make sure you have some tissue. And what I use the tissue for, instead of touching my face and my face itch, I want to move hair, I get a tissue. And like I say, it almost has become habit, you know. So make that of a habit of not touching your face. So next I'm going to go into, if you don't have any, you have to make your own or you don't have any sanitizer, what do you do? So I'm going to show you what I improvise with. Okay, folks, I'm back showing you how I was sufficing before I found the little hand sanitizers. Uh, how I, you know, made my own. I'm going to first start by saying I think uh, commercially made sanitizers, as long as they have over 60% of isopropyl or ethanol um, alcohol are more stable. And when you make your own, you have to make sure you use precise measurements. You want to get you something like this, a measuring cup, which I found at Dollar Tree. And it takes the guesswork out of it. Because if you have an alcohol and you add a product to it, it cuts down the efficiency of the product because it reduces the contents or the volume of alcohol. Now, you can use ethanol alcohol, which I do have a bottle, and I got that from the liquor store. You can also use something, I think, called Everclear. If you can find it, um, you could go to cigar shops. I was told they will sell you alcohol. And I was lucky enough to go in Dollar Tree and I found this Rexall 91% isopropyl alcohol. So I was very lucky in that aspect. So I use that along with Dollar Tree Swan Hydrogen Peroxide. Now, Dollar Tree has alcohol. It's 70% isopropyl. It's by Swan also. I didn't see any in there. They had wiped the shelves again. I would say if you're going to use Swan from Dollar Tree alcohol that you use it straight because it's 70%. So you have no leeway to mix it with anything because then it's not being effective in what it's supposed to be doing. Next, you need a mixing agent. And um, I found this at Dollar Tree. It's the Max Block After Sun Aloe Vera Soothing Gel. I bought four of these and I use that to mix with this. And it gives me a product because it's not going to be jelly, but it looks something like this. Okay. And these bottles came from Dollar Tree. They're the April bath shower travel bottles. They're three. Uh -oh, they also have, and these are new. These are travel bottles. They got the pink polka dots and they also come in purple. Okay. And you can look around your house and find little bottles like this that you can repurpose. Just make sure you sanitize them because I prefer, because this is so liquid, me to spray it. Okay. Make sure you sanitize it though. Okay. And if you're making it in larger volumes, Dollar Tree also has bottles like this, and they have them in pretty colors. This one is pink. They have them in this blue, so it matches your decor. I mean, if it really matters. And they also had them in green. Okay, folks, so that's it. That's all for my hand sanitizing haul. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share. And I hope everybody is staying safe and keeping your hands clean. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Until next time, this is Loquacious One. Love you. Bye-bye.